Right, we're getting ready to start the installation of the pulse preventer, keep the hazard lights from feeding back into the tr electric trailer brake controller on our 1992 Champion Euro Premier. Uh, this video applies to most anything that has a tube uh, light system for the tail and turn signals uh, where the turn signals when the hazards are on will feed back up into the brake uh, light line and cause pulsing of the brake controller. It's a relatively inexpensive uh, little item and uh, relatively easy to install. So this is the uh, kind of a collection of the stuff that we've gotten together that uh, we needed to do this project. Um, starting with a voltmeter to test which line was the one that the feedback was coming from. Uh, soldering gun, so we prefer to solder our, all our terminals. Uh, the heat gun for the heat shrink tubing. Um, some uh, rosin core electrical solder. Setup of uh, terminal connections, we use one of the ring terminals there in this project. Um, and we're using some adhesive lined heat shrink tubing, and that's our preference. So it uh, makes the, uh, the solder joint watertight and keeps it held together really well. It's nice. Uh, just some indoor outdoor uh, military spec uh, nylon cable ties for tidying up a couple of the wires after the project. And dielectric grease for the electrical connections that aren't uh, soldered. A couple of wrenches we needed. Uh, one is the 7 16ths. We use that for the nut on the pulse preventer. I just wanted to change the orientation of the way they had the wire on there, so that was the size for that. And then I found that a 9 millimeter was the size for the nut holding the ring terminals on the cold side of my brake switch, uh, the pressure switch, so it was a 9 millimeter. Uh, crimping tool, some cutters for the wire, and my uh, screw gun for uh, just putting the screws up into the wood underneath to hold the pulse preventer in place. Yeah, I'm under the champion here in the front end where the um, brake pedal comes through and there's the uh, air brake pressure switch that turns the tail lights, the brake lights on and off. Going to take off the uh, wiring that runs back to the taillights to try to figure out which one is feeding back when the hazard lights are turned on with, uh, using the voltmeter. Three wires coming off of this side of the uh, pressure switch. These two going off to the back somewhere. I'm going to test those. This one is the one that I had added previously that goes up to the trailer brake controller. So we'll turn on the hazard lights and test these two ends see which one or both maybe are getting the uh, return signal from the hazard light. Okay, with the voltmeter set on 20 volts DC hooked up to the uh, one eyelet that has uh, two wires coming from the back on it and uh, then found a ground over here for the other terminal of my voltmeter and now you can see with the hazard lights on the voltage flashing all over the place. So that's the, uh, those are the two wires that are hooked into that one eyelet that we need to hook the pulse preventer into. We're using the 5501 trailer brake pulse preventer from Draw Tight. The, there's some wood right above our pressure switch we're going to screw the bracket into. The yellow wire, we're going to solder a ring terminal on. It's going to go on to the brake pressure switch. And the brown wire is going to get soldered to the wires going back to the brake lights. Okay, the pulse preventer is installed and we're testing the brake right now. We should get an error message because there's no trailer plugged in. The brake controller gives us an error when we press on the brakes. Now we're going to turn on the hazard lights and as you can see there is no pulsing error message on the brake controller now. Hazard lights are on and no pulsing error message like we had before on the brake controller. Our pulse preventer installation on the Champion Euro Premier is done. Uh, working great. There's the module there. You can see the little pulse preventer. Used a couple of uh, wood screws to screw it up into the wood uh, there on the top of the front compartment here just to hold, the, hold it. And, um, 
See, we soldered and heat shrinked with the uh, double layer heat shrink that has the adhesive in it. And um, put the uh, ring terminal over here on this with uh, heat shrink on the end of it and onto the uh, cold side of the pressure switch, just like the uh, instructions stated. And hooked up the uh, other um, two wires that were supposed to go on to that terminal that we're not getting the feedback from the hazard lights. So it's all complete. Hope this helps out. Thanks for watching.